chapter 11, lesson one, mean, or another word for mean is also average. When you find the sum of all of the numbers in a data set, then divide that sum by the amount of numbers in the set. This will give you the mean. Another word for mean is the average. The mean and the average summarizes the data using a single number. Example one, the dot plot below shows the number of movies Rita watches each week for a month. Find the mean number of movies she watched. So to find the mean, we have to add up all the numbers in the data set. So there is one dot for the number one, plus there's two dots for the number two, and then there's one dot for the number five. So we add up all the numbers in the set and then we divide it by how many numbers are in the set. So there are one, two, three, four numbers in the set. So we're going to divide this sum by four. So the sum of one plus two plus two plus five gives us 10. So then we have to divide 10 by four and 10 divided by four gives us 2.5. So on average, she watched about two and a half movies each week. Example two, the dot plot below shows the amount of points a basketball team scored in the last five games. Find the mean amount of points. So we have one dot at the number 76, one dot at the number 78, two dots at the number 81, and one dot at the number 84. So now we're gonna divide all of the numbers in the set by how many numbers there are. So there are one, two, three, four, five numbers in the set. So we're gonna divide that sum by five. So the sum of all of these numbers added together is 400. So we have 400 divided by five, which equals 80. So they scored on average 80 points. Try this one yourself to check for understanding and then check your answer as you continue the video. Example three, Mary is a truck driver. The amount of miles she drove in the last six trips she had were the following numbers. What is the mean of her last six trips? So we need to find the sum of all of the numbers. Next, we need to divide that sum by the number of trips that she took. We could count and see that there are six trips and we can also see that it says six trips in the problem. The sum of all of these numbers equal 1056. So next we would divide that by six. And that equals a mean of 176. Example four, Tom received his scores from his last seven math tests. They were the following scores. A couple days later, Tom takes his eighth math test and his mean for all eight tests is 91.5. What was Tom's eighth test score? So this one's a little bit different because we know his mean, but we don't know one of his test scores. So let's set up the problem as we normally would, but use a variable for Tom's eighth test score. So I used X as my variable for Tom's eighth test score. Now we're gonna divide all of these numbers by eight tests. Lastly, 
we're going to set this equal to 91.5 because in the problem, we're given that Tom's mean is 91.5. So the first thing we want to do is simplify the numerator of the expression by adding together all the numbers that we can. So when we find the sum of the numbers in the numerator, we get 644 plus that x divided by 8 equals 91.5. Now that we've simplified the problem, we can use inverse operations to solve for the variable. So first thing I'm going to do is multiply by 8 to both sides so that we can cancel out the denominator. So then we're left with 644 plus x equals 732. The next step would be to subtract 644 from both sides so that we can cancel this out and just be left with our variable x, and this equals 88. So we're left with x equals 88. So Tom's eighth test score was an 88%. Now remember that you could check your answer by plugging in 88 for the x in the problem and simplifying the expression to make sure that it equals 91.5. Try this one yourself to check for understanding, then check your answer with the next portion of the video.